Hello YouTube and welcome back to The Drunken Kobold. Today we're doing our review of Archdevil Jerion by Icons of the Realms. Archdevil Jerion is the first in the Archdevil lineup and second in the Archdevils and Demon Lords lineup behind Orcus. Without further ado, let's take a look at how Archdevil Jerion looks. Jerion is locked in an endless struggle with Levistus for control of Stygia. The two have fought each other for centuries, each displacing the other innumerable times. Currently, Jerion occupies an odd position in the Infernal Hierarchy. Although Levistus still claims lordship over Stygia, he has been trapped in an enormous block of ice at the command of Asmodeus. For his part, Jerion marshals his followers and seeks to discover the means to replace his hated rival. His ferocity serves him well in Stygia's frozen wastes, but it has also limited his ability to collect souls and forge an effective hierarchy. Sages who study the Nine Hells believe that the battle for control of Stygia is a test staged by Asmodeus in hopes of purging the worst impulses from both Jerion and Levistus, or at the very least opening the door for a competent replacement for both to rise from the ranks. After all, which is less worthy? The Archdevil who leads a lair from being trapped in a block of ice, or the Archdevil who can't outmaneuver a frozen adversary? Among the Archdevils, Jerion and Zeriel are especially known for their martial prowess. He is a ferocious hunter and a relentless tracker. He is a huge fiend in the Mordekainen's Tome of Foes with a CR-22 stat block. So I have to say straight up, I love this sculpt on Jerion. I love that he is in the pose that you find him in Mordekainen's Tome of Foes. I like that the details on him are complete right down to the scales on his back, his belly, the leather detail in his wings. Absolutely phenomenal. One thing about Jerion you'll notice is he has this little horn here, and that in gameplay allows him to summon 5d4 minotaurs. So you're always going to have a minimum of 4 minotaurs being summoned, but you can summon up to 20 of them. So with miniatures, I recommend having a lot of minotaurs on hand. One thing that I want to note is that Jerion at the end of his very long serpentine body has this scorpion-like barb. That barb is in fact venomous and you can use it in game to poison your players. So what do I not like about the Jerion figure? Well, if there was ever a figure to have a enlarged base on, this is it. This is his standard huge base. And I think having a gargantuan base and having the figure itself the same size, but actually including some of the frozen terrain of Stygia on his base would have been absolutely phenomenal. I'm usually not a fan of including terrain on bases because once you put a miniature on a terrain that doesn't match the base, it kind of looks out of place. But you're not going to find Jerry on outside of Stygia, so having that frozen terrain would have been really cool. You'll notice that in his chest, there isn't a lot of detail in the hair of the paint. It kind of just looks like a black blob. So I wish a little bit more focus would have went into that, as well as the details in his face. And a little bit of slop, as you can see on like the color of his hands here. Let's see if I can get in here with that. You can see that like where they painted his hands a skin tone, some of the black slopped over. So while overall it is not a badly painted miniature, it does have some poor painting qualities to it that I wish weren't so easily overlooked by whiz kids. Jerion is an awesome foe and I think he will fit in quite a few uh, hell based campaigns, whether you're going to the Nine Hells, the Abyss, whatever you want you can end up in Stygia and have a very, very interesting battle with Jerion, and this miniature will complete that. All in all, once everything has been considered, I give this miniature a 7 out of 10. Do you agree with my assessments? Let me know in the comments down below. If you feel I deserved it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. In the meantime, cheers, and may your rolls be with you.